What's going on, everyone? It's your boy, Barazuki here. And I'm back. Finally, after so long. I don't even remember the last time I actually spoke on the microphone for this YouTube channel. But it's been a while. And we're back. And we're doing a tutorial on how to downgrade Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. So stay tuned and watch the end. Follow every single step exactly how I do it. And you'll be alright. So, first thing you're going to want to do is get on Steam. And go to your library and I want you to click settings and then properties for me and then go to updates and I want you to change it to these settings right here okay never allow background upload downloads and wait till I launch the game because you don't want it to automatically update when you've just downgraded it and it takes a while to download the downgrade and you don't want that happening to you because it can mess everything up. So yeah, once you've done that, just, you know, minimize that tab. And then I want you to go to this website. Everything will be in the description. Just copy and paste that. Or click the link in the bio. Uh, the description, sorry. And you'll, it'll take you here. And then I want you to just type in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Once you're on this page... Do me a favor and just scroll down and go to depots. Yep. Right here. And then you're going to want to click the build ID. And then we're going to go and find the exact one that we're able to mod on. Because you can't mod on the latest version. This is the whole point of the video. So yeah. We're going to click this to go back. That's the four months ago one. So that's not the correct one. We want to go back. Um, Scroll down. Click that again. And this should be the one, the 19th of March. And leave this page open for me. And I want you to do me a favor. Click the Windows and the R key. And this should pop up on the bottom. And I want you to type in this, copy and paste this. I'll leave it in the description. Okay. Just copy and paste this. Steam dot dot slash slash open slash console. And... Press OK and it should open the console. Go back into the description and I want you to copy and paste this right here. And then press space. And then go back to that manifest ID we had here. And we want to copy this. Control C. And Control V. And then press Enter. I should start downloading. Now, I already have it downloaded. It doesn't indicate how far the download is, but it'll tell you when the download's complete. So make sure you've got some storage on your PC, a little bit of storage, just so you can download this. But um, I'm going to skip ahead, and I've already got it downloaded. So you come back to this part when yours is completed. It'll tell you when it's done, but it won't tell you the progress, unfortunately. But yeah. Once it's been downloaded, I want you to go here and click on your local disk. Click on program files 86. That's where I keep my Steam. If you don't find Steam here, try and check your normal program files, but my one's in 86, and a lot of people's are in 86. So I'm just going to go with that. And click Steam. And then you want to go down to Steam Apps. And then you want to go on Content. And then this is your download. Right here. This is your depot. You should have your files right here. We're going to just keep that open in a separate one. We're going to open another file explorer page. And we're going to go to local disk again. Program files. Steam. Steam apps. And then this time we're going to go on common instead. Okay. And then Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Okay. Now this is the part that should work for you all. Um, what I'm going to do instead, usually you're meant to delete all of this, right? But for me, instead, I'm going to just move them into a different file. So I know this is the new update. So I don't have to move them back and forth. This is the new one. It's over there. And then I can just drag the old update, the one we just downloaded. That we can put mods in. And it should work from here. 
Okay, another thing you want to do before you open the game because it it's it's not going to work on the older version. Um, your save file won't work. So I want you to go to program files again. Go to Steam again, and then this time I want you to go to user data. Click this folder, and then I want you to click the one that ends in seven zero three two three four seven zero. Click on remote. And I want you to remove that save file um, into a different spot. So I'm going to move a new save file. So that's the latest update. I'm going to just move that save file. I'll drag it out and into that. Okay, for some reason, I didn't mention why we moved the save file in the recording. But the reason we moved the save file is because... That save files from the latest update and it won't work because we're downgrading. It won't work on the version we've just downloaded, obviously, because it, it, it might corrupt the game because it's from a later update. So yeah, um, drag it, move it out until you want to go back to the latest update. You can put that back in. Um, but yeah, uh, that's why I've moved it to another file to keep all of that, you know, safe. Let's start it up just to double check. Everything should work. Let's connect my controller as well. And yeah, holy shit, it's so loud. Oh my god, it works. Uh, yeah, yeah, create a new save data. Blah, 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 it works. Okay. But as you can see, it's 1.23.03. Never open it ever through Steam. Always open it through the bin file. Okay. Always open it through the bin file. Don't click start here. Um, it won't work. Just make sure you open it through here when it's the older update. When it's the latest update, doesn't matter. You can open it through Steam. You can open it through here, however you like. But yeah, even with modding, that's how it is. Anyways, thank you guys for watching the video. Um. Part two is how to install the mods into the game. And yeah, I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like the video if I helped you out. And goodbye.